Ever since I broke my first growler on my way back from a visit to Helena last year, I've been dying to get back and get some of that beautiful single malt IPA at Blackfoot River Brewing Company. So while in Helena for a work assignment last week, I stopped off for a chat with Cohen or Brian Smith. And this will be our new you know, freight access. Uh, this is just our freight door going into the production area. I got a little more than I bargained for, a tour of what's shaping up to be one of the nicest tap rooms in the state. Still definitely a construction zone here. This is the production side of the building. Uh, this is our brew house here, which is a 15 barrel system, uh, same size we currently have, but uh, um, just a little newer. We're staying the same size as we've been in terms of batch size, but we'll have about twice as many tanks. So um, we think that's a good mix because we get to keep the handcrafted size of uh, the batches of beer, but yet we'll be able to increase our capacity and just brew more often. The Department of Revenue's definition of legal package was basically keg or bottle or can. And uh, this will be like the way most people do it in other states in a brew pub environment where why waste all the energy and chemicals and labor to clean and, you know, fill 30 kegs when we can do it just once. Uh, this is the tap room side. Uh, this will actually will be the bar. We have a bar made out of a bar top made out of a single piece of uh, ponderosa pine that was standing dead on a friend of ours' property. So the reason this landing is glassed in is uh, this is a feature of downtown Helena. They call it the Helena Fold. And we get geology students from across the country that show up here every summer, climb around on it. But we thought we would glass in the landing so at least people could still see it since we're sort of blocking it. And so we'll finally have outdoor seating, which is awesome. A lot of people have okay. The aesthetic features of the brewery incorporate both the downtown architecture and a modern look that's unique to craft brewing operation. It combines an industrial feel with pub-like ambiance. Different, and it was important for us for our building to at least fit in with the rest of the part of our block here, which this is all the old Eddie's Bakery. So that's why the you know the kind of the shape and the skyline is the same. And the colors you see on the front of the building, they're all colors that are used currently on the block. For comparison's sake, we checked out the beautiful old copper brew system that has faithfully produced some of Montana's finest beer for years. We bought it uh, about eight and a half years ago from Vermont and trucked it out and installed it. Prior to that, our first few years, we started uh, with a seven barrel system that we kind of pieced together ourselves. We bought a new kettle, but everything else, the mash gun, hot liquor tank and stuff, we all built. The new place is going to be sweet, and Smith said they're looking to a soft opening in early September, with grand opening festivities planned for the end of the month. We'll go back and check things out when the dust of construction is replaced by the gentle gurgle of fermentation. This is Tim Akamoff for grizzlygrowler.com.